Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back, channel, and welcome back to FS News. Well, these past two days have actually been pretty quiet on the news front, but that doesn't mean that we have some news to go over today. We have news from three different modders, plus two pieces of news from Giants themselves. We'll be talking about one of the new crops in the new DLC coming up, plus about another huge update coming to Alma, Missouri. Also, we'll be going over the last testing list for this week. This one has 65 mods on it. Not too bad. Now for the question of the day, how do you start your mornings? Mine, I got a cup of coffee and usually start preparing for like these kind of videos. Let me know in the comments. In Wednesday's FS News videos, we hit over that 350 likes. Let's try to get over that 350 again. Remember, before we get to that news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button and ring that bell. Now roll that intro, let's get to this news. Welcome back. Okay, so here we go with Friday's news. Wednesday, I did put a question out, but not many people actually answered it more than just one word. So this is the comment of the day instead. This one is from Andrew8259. He says he's new to the game. He got a free with PlayStation a subscription, which welcome to the club. I'm pretty sure a lot of people got this game with the PlayStation subscription. If you guys did, let me know in the comments. But he says he's on his edge of his seat with these updates. He wants to see his grandpa's old blue Ford tractor. The only bad thing is, is guess what? Ford is not a licensed brand for firing simulators, so it will not be coming to console, at least in FS22. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully, maybe in the next one, they get that license. He says we had that on two wheels too often. Can I put cows in the fields? I mean, you kind of can because I've done it on Alma, Missouri. You just have to know how to. If you look back out some of my live streams, like actually this past week, I believe I did a farm build. You'll actually see me trying to actually put animals in a field to make it look like it's a pasture. Hopefully we, uh, sorry, hopefully they add something like that in the next farming simulator where we can actually make our own pastures and we have grazing and stuff like that on the next one. Okay, anyways, let's get to the news for today now. Probably talking really, really fast today. That's because I've had a lot of coffee. Okay, but it is Friday, so what does that mean? That means let's get to some fact sheets. Remember, Friday fact sheets. Uh, this is for the upcoming DLC, the premium expansion, which comes out November 14th. Remember, guys, if you are on PC and you're interested in getting this DLC, make sure you guys use the club's affiliate link down in the description, guys, to pre-order it. Now, remember, if you have the year two season pass, it is completely free. And if you want to get that year two season pass, I have that affiliate link down in the description, too. Okay, let's get to these fact sheets. The first one we have is for the Grimmy GF800. This is a rotary hiller. It is $59,000. Let's see, 270 horsepower is required on this one. Six working meters. And after that one, we have a new harvester. This is the D-Wolf GCCI harvester. It's $181,000. It does require 170 horsepower. Six miles an hour is the working speed. One row harvester. Eight tons, and this does, of course, your carriage, your parsnips, and your red beets. And it looks like it actually puts it into boxes. So that's going to be something completely new. That's actually going to be pretty awesome. The only thing that sucks is that one row. That's going to take us forever. Now, onto the last fact sheet we have is for the Monaire Nova Fold Planter. This is 51,500. It does require 70 horsepower, six working meters, holds only 32 liters. That's barely anything, mainly when a, you know, a bag of seeds is the what, 1,000 liters, think? But yeah, there is the fact sheets for today. Let's go over some more news from Giants themselves. And that is about the new crop. Well, one of the new crops, parsnips. We already talked about carrots, but now this is parsnips. We're, of course, getting carrots, parsnips, and red beets that will soon be available to everybody. But anyways, yard, sorry, yield per hectare acre is about 69,500. The average selling price for them is about 1,310. So not bad on that selling price. Uh, seeds per hectare acre, 10 liters, so barely anything. Growth duration, four months. Planted in April through June. Harvested during August and October. And says, depending on where you live, parsnips might be more or less common. It's a versatile root vegetable, creamy white color, and sweet earthy flavor. Parsnips are often used in cooking for their hearty texture and slightly nutty taste. No surprise that the resident businesses of Salonka, which is the new map, the new map of the premium expansion, Process the crop to create delicious food items. Similar to the uh, carrots, you should keep the new field working step in mind when going for parsnips. After plowing the field and before sowing the precious parsnips, you create ridges using ridge formers, which is rotary hillers. Uh, it proves your yield, by the way, and counts towards the full 
full stage of fertilization. Just wondering if you're using, of course, precision farming, if that will still count. Because I know if you try to use like one of those grass rollers on grass with it, with the precision, it does not count as fertilization. But anyway, it says the premium expansion provides you with new machines, whether you're talking the ridge formers like the Grimmy GF 400 and the 800, or cedars like the Gavernland Miner Nova series. Uh, for parsnips, you also have the choice between multiple harvesters. Operate the D-Wolf ZKIVSE, a self-propelled four-row top-lifting harvester with discharge elevator, uh, which you guys can see, and highlight the machine of the expansion, or a smaller, more affordable, and trail top-lifting harvester like the D-Wolf GBC. Whatever your financial situation and farm layout suits you best. So, remember, this will be coming with the premium DLC. So, that is all the news from Giants right there. Let's get to some regular modern news. The first one we have is from EED123. It says, after sending the princess to the mod for testing, it was time for some new updates. The Madra Agro RNT series trailer gets its first update. He fixed the unloading animation of the RNT14 and the particle unloading animation. Uh, fixed Tatcher Point, and then he added dynamic suspension on axles. Then the second one, the Clash Jaguar 800, he fixed the interior a little bit, added custom-made long pipe, adding an interactive control by Vertex Design. The RU450 now need a bit less power so the 820 can work with it. And then the last one, the Class Jaguar 810, he fixed the interior camera position, added custom-made long pipe, and added interactive control by Vertex on that one. So now we just wait for the mod up testing for all of that. And now onto the last piece of news for today, which is from our good friend Shabalki, and of course, Everybody's been loving Alma, Missouri. Alma, Missouri, to me, is my favorite map. But anyway, it says, several people have contacted me and say that they are having problems with the update installation. If this continues, he'll be riding Giants later on, which they did fix it. That was actually a server problem, so everybody should be able to download the update now. It says, furthermore, for the next update, he's preparing some more additions, such as more vegetables in the greenhouse and a placeable fermenter. The silo fermenter is still under development, so there will be changes in appearance. He would like to also say thank you to, well, thank everybody for their support, that this has been amazing. So we should be seeing that update very soon, and it shouldn't require a new save, because when he tries to do updates, he doesn't try to make it so you guys need a new save with it. Okay, now with all the news out of the way, what's left to get to it is that testing list, the last testing list for this week. We have 65 mods on this testing list, and yes, yes, they all do say PC, but does not mean that they're only PC only, it just means they're in the first stage. First stage is always PC, second is console, third is release. So let's go over some notable ones we have on here. We have the Bell Handcart. We have, let's see, the Tree Sapling Pack. We have Steiger TST650, Corinthia, I think that's how you say that. Uh, Christmas Market, Potato Processing Plant, Double Weight Fiat, New Garage, Beehive with three large frames, Big Box and Shovel, uh, anywhere object storage, uh, Flegal TMK 160, Fire Station, Versatile MFWD Series 2021, Lizard Motorcycle and Sidecar, uh, Southern Black Forest, Eureka Farms, Trailer Pack, and that is about it right there. Now, my Zwimby test is 132. Current wait time is only seven working days. As you guys see, that seven working days did go down because I believe it was like almost 15 days last week. I think the reason why it was 15 days is because they were actually testing that premium expansion that's about to be coming out. Because usually before a new DLC comes out, you'll see that testing list jump. But now we're getting closer. So, yeah. Okay, so that right there, guys, was the news and the last testing list for this week. Not a really bad week. Hopefully, you do get some mods today. Now, as for today's schedule, we do have a live stream at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And, of course, we'll be back on Alma, Missouri. Like always, if you guys did enjoy the video, a like would be appreciated. If you're new to the channel, guys, welcome to the club. We're almost to that 90,000. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. I'll well, see you guys in the next video. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth.